All right, Spike, you're a dog, but now you're a fully trained bull. No! Spike's up to his old tricks again. He just won't lean. Bullheaded mud. You don't think I tried the same trick three times, do you? Oh, thanks, Heathcliff. Here's your mail. How about that? Yours and Iggy's letters to Santa were returned too. That's the tenth one today. I wonder if Santa's quitting. Santa quitting his job? Time to pay a visit to the North Pole. Now to get the Santas. Now, let's see, I need a dog sled. And I know the perfect dog! Ta? Mush, go! You're going to pull my sled to the North Pole so I can see Santa. Oh, that's cute. Oh, Heathcliff, if I get a red nose, can I guide you to Santa tonight? Now, mush! <laughs> what a heavy storm! Stupid ugly doll! They dump toys every year! <laughs> Wish I had a real job. <laughs> Tuck, front and center. Tuck, are you happy at your job? How could I be? Christmas is a scam. Making kids be good all year so they can get toys on one day? It's a good reason for them to behave. We get their letters way in advance telling us what they want for Christmas. It's come to my attention that some of these letters were sent back. Sounds like the work of someone mean and despicable who hates Christmas. Like you. A lot like me. Well, I've gotten word from the big man to let you go, Tuck. You're fired. You can't fire me because I quit. Mush! Mush! You mule, you! Make tracks, little doggy! I've had it! I'm not gonna be treated like some donkey out here in the middle of this ice bucket. Anyway, I don't want to see Santa. I haven't been good all year, and I don't need to be sold back. <laughs> I, uh, think we're here. What makes you think that? Because you hit the North Pole Pole, big guy. I don't even know why we're here. Oh, they want to see Santa. We'll just see about that. We're in this together. Now let's get going. Whoa! Uh, this ice won't hold forever, Spike. We better take it slowly. Then this will crack you up! Huh? Oh. Hope you guys want to swear to! Whoa! Good thing we've not eaten all day, or we'd be sunk. Then eat this, buddy! Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Keep cool, old boy. I'm gonna find this mischief maker. I won't have to look far. <laughs> Yo!
Now for ammunition. Incoming! Charge! That ought to keep the little runt busy. Uh-oh. Spike's gonna be dog meat if I don't hurry. Santa may be watching. Help me! Thanks. The least we could do after all you did for us. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going through a difficult time right now. Trying to figure out if I should be a good elf or a bad one. What have you decided? Being bad means being cold, hungry, and out of work. Hopefully, Santa will take me home. Santa threw you out? Yeah. I returned all those kids' letters they sent to him. That's why we came up here, to find out what was going on and to give these back to Santa. I think I can arrange a meeting. Follow me. Wow! wow. So this is where all the toys are made. Nah, it's a living. So, you back, Tuck? It's a jungle out there, huh? Actually, it's a blizzard out there. But yes, I want to come back. I'm not the one you have to ask. Okay, okay, you go. Come on, guys. Come right in. Tell him about the letters. You tell him. Uh, uh, Santa, these letters were returned to us, and we're here to give them back. I guess it's all my fault. I sent back some of the letters. I'm sorry. Please take me back, Santa. Well, that's a start. All right, Tuck, you can have your job back. And I want to thank you two for returning the letters. Hmm. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. Very good. Mmm. You've been a good cat this year, haven't you, Heathcliff? Oh, yes, Santa. I've been a very good kitty this year. And you, Spike? You haven't been chasing any mailmen, have you? Not a one. Ow! Ow! Oh. <laughs> well, returning these letters is a good deed that wipes out a lot of the mischief you two have been up to all year. I believe you'll need a ride home, correct? Yes, Santa. Yes, Santa. Fine. Tuck, go to the stable and saddle up my sleigh team. I'll take these two home. We're going, We're going on Santa's sleigh. We're going on Santa's sleigh. Tuck, would you like to come along for the ride? Hooray! Here we are. Thanks for the ride, Santa. Be good, Tuck. Remember what Santa said about us being good to each other? Okay, Spike. I will. <laughs> well, uh, maybe we'll start tomorrow. Huh? For goodness sake, I feel a quake. Mongo, put the hill down. 
Hector. Uh, de, de, all right, Hector. A telegram for Mungo McMungo. Yeah, Mungo McMungo. That's me. Mungo, you're supposed to read it, not iron it. Yeah, it's from Granny McMungo in Ireland. Dear grandson, your baby brother Mungo is out of line. He's been running with a tough gang of Manx cats, and I fear he'll end up in the alley. I've done all I can for the lad, and now I put him in your loving care. He'll arrive on the next potato boat. <laughs> you can count on me, Granny. He won't be no trouble. Brother or not, Mungo, I say he goes. <gasps> but boss, I have promised Granny. He stole my poems. He ate our food. I say the punk is just no good. Ah, uh, the kid ain't so bad. <laughs> yeah, he's worse than bad. Yeah, he's just sowing a few wild potatoes. Let me talk to him. I guess we all thought you'd be smaller, but here anyway. Uh, thanks, Miss Cleo. Uh, nobody ever met me to booties before. Uh, these are better than dice. Yeah. Yeah. He's running away. Fetch, Mongo. At last, a little action. Yeah, used to be. You care for us to be in? Hold it right there, Tuna Breath. I'm Madcap Mel, leader of the Bad News Cats. Yeah, used to be the leader, you mean. <laughs> and those are our girls! Hey! Hey! Oh! Yeah, used to be your girls, you mean. <laughs> What are we going to do, Mad Cat? Enlist him. He's a classy cat. I like his style. Oh, Mingo, you're a potty head. Yeah, I'd love to see my granny smile here when I go back to the Emerald Isle. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're getting warm, boss. What was your first clue, Mongo? <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey. Yeah. Hey, hi, big brother. My bed, my refrigerator, my lamp. Yeah, used to be. We're taking over this pad. A junkyard joust to the finish at dawn. Winner takes all. 
You coming, Mingo? Yeah, please, boss. There's a time when brothers need to talk. Yeah, so you see, Mingo, it comes down to a choice between me and my friends who love you or a gang of low lives and their semi-beautiful girlfriends. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> I'm sorry, Granny. <laughs> Knights of the Junkyard, fall in! Sir Hector, at your service, sire. Sir Wordsworth reporting for action. We're gonna put these dudes in traction. <laughs> <laughs> Your humble servant, Sir Mungo, ready for <laughs> battle. But where are the bad news chickens? Let the joust begin! Out of my way, you churlish knave! This Cadillac cat is no bad news slave! According to the junkyard law, this event is now a draw. Second jousters, charge! This dude is history! You villain! Next, Jousters! Oh, that's, that's us. us. Ah! <laughs> I'll pull up you to provide the food. Allow me to light up your life. Ah! Ah! I could go on like this all day, but looks like... You all tied up! Next jouster, and hurry! I won't let you down, boss! Stop! Huh? Stop this tournament! Uh, this is no place for use, Cleo. I want you to wear my colors, Mungo. You are a knight whose heart is pure. Yeah, but those are my booties. Uh, who's in there? Someone who's not worthy of those booties. Shame on you. You've disgraced McMungo's everywhere. My own brother. I won't fight him. The young is yeah. 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 Yeah, maybe Mungo won't fight, yeah, but his kid brother will. Uh, let's go, kid. <laughs> Back to the wharf. I hate junk anyway. Let's blow this die. I could have beat you, but you're my kid brother. Yeah, I didn't want to embarrass you in front of your friends. Uh, is that so? Yeah, yes it is. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> When a dog's coat loses its shine, it can make your dog look ugly. Give him an egg with his food to bring the shine back to his coat. Make sure you cook it first, either by frying the egg or boiling it. Look at the condition of your coat. Aren't you ashamed? 
Gotta keep them in line. Heathcliff, Heathcliff, no one should terrify their neighborhood. But Heathcliff.